So um, I want to go back to something you said when you said um, you think the majority of men, did you say bad or, or you said the majority of men are something? No, I said the majority of men that I had experienced. The trash. But you did say the majority of men are trash. Okay, so so question. Yeah, do you do you also feel like the majority of women are trash? Yes. Okay, so you feel like it's equal. You just think about are you yes. Are you included in that category? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely 100% isn't that, isn't, not. Isn't that I love that rationale there guys basically everybody is trash okay men are trash the majority of men are trash the majority of women are trash but me i'm completely different yo what is going on guys it is taylor the fiend back again with another response video and on today's episode guys we are going to be responding to this youtube video from the just pearly things youtube channel i'm going to leave a link to the original video at the top of this video's description in case you guys want to go and watch it for yourselves but basically we have here a woman in the center who lives in absolute fairyland okay she has gone out throughout her early 20s she has chosen men who are quote unquote trash and now she turns around and she complains about men in general because of the men that she has chosen now at the start of the video she says not all men are trash but she later goes on on to change her tone on that but this is just another example guys of modern women going out there making their choices and then turning around and complaining when they reap the rewards of those choices so without further ado guys let's just jump right into the video don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments and this is a conversation that actually covers some interesting points um so i'm excited to see where it goes mm. So I don't say men are trash. I think some men are trash. I wouldn't mm. generalize that to all men. Definitely a large proportion of men I've experienced are trash. I'm not going to talk about other women's experiences. But I think... Even... Why do you think that is? Why do you think that a large proportion of men that you personally experience no, she are trash? Likes, she likes red flags. I don't like red flags. No. Yes, she does. Guys, this is a lie that a lot of women try and tell men, okay? They go through their 304 phase, they go out there, they date a whole bunch of random dudes in their early 20s, guys who are clearly not going to commit to them, guys who are clearly cheaters or a-holes or whatever the case may be, and they will voluntarily choose to chase these men because they are attracted to the red flags. The men who are nice, the men who would take her out on a date, who would give her a relationship, these men oftentimes are just straight up invisible to these women. Okay, for her to sit here and say that she is not interested in the red flags, she is not attracted to red flags, is just a straight up lie, guys, and it shows how little she understands herself. And this is true of a lot of girls, guys, where they think that they're attracted to one thing, but they're really not. Like, they shouldn't be giving each other advice. They have no idea what they're attracted to. And they're just straight up lying to men when they say crap like this. And no, why were they all the ones you've experienced As be in, trash? before, before when I was immature, younger, I would uh -huh. go for guys with red flags. That's just due to personal When, when did you stop, would you say? What age? You're 24, so when, when did you stop? At the start of this year. I got therapy, so okay. I, I, I understood why so I hasn't been red long. flags. Yeah. So she hasn't even stopped chasing these men, by the way, right? So she says within this same year, that's when she's decided that she's matured, okay? She's got therapy, and now she's ready for a real man to enter into her life. Guys, this is absolute bullcrap, okay? Girls get to 27, 28, 29. Like, she still has not got the bad boy phase out of her system. But girls will get up into their 30s, and then they'll say crap like this. Like, oh, I've done my healing, or I've gone to therapy, and now I'm ready for a real guy. I know what I want now because I'm mature. These girls are not mature. Okay, they still want the same thing as they always have. This is why a lot of girls, as they get into their 30s, they'll go and marry a guy who will provide for them. She won't respect that guy. She will destroy the marriage, which they're allowed to do these days, by the way. They'll take the man for half his crap and the children, maybe even all of his crap and demand payouts from the man even after the fact. Okay, and then she'll go back to the bad boys at the end of the day. Like, I've heard this saying all around the internet, guys, you know, light, you know, nice guys finish last or whatever. The dudes who are nice to these women don't even participate in the quote unquote race. Nice guys are literally invisible to girls like this. Let's keep going. Yeah. It hasn't been long. It since hasn't you... been long, no, but there's a definitely a difference so now. Like, I know what I like now. So like a... 
Yeah, guys, trust her, okay? In the last three to six months, you know, she's really learned a lot about herself and uh, she's ready to adapt her dating strategies. Yeah, right. Get out of here, man. About a year, around 24. That was when yeah. you stopped. Okay. So if you, if you were picking trash men, mm -hmm. right, and then you got a trash result, mm -hmm. right, um, a lot of the time that what exactly what Pearl was saying, women pick trash men, get trash results and mm -hmm. then say men are trash. <laughs> and it's like, it's not because men are trash, it's because you pick trash men. I also want to point out here, guys, by the way, when these women say trash men, or this guy might use the word trash men, a lot of the times these dudes aren't even trash. It's just that the top percentage of men don't want to commit to these women. So these women will label them negative things, okay? It's basically a lot of the times it comes down to the fact that the top percentage of men are just not interested in committing to these women. That's why words like toxic and manipulative and a-hole and narcissistic, all of these words have lost their meaning because a lot of the times it just means men who don't want to commit to these women because uh, the pool of men that you're choosing from mm -hmm. are trash do you know what i mean so that mantra of men are trash is because the majority of women are dealing with trash men because the majority of men are trash men no there you go right so what, what's her conclusion here guys her dating life sucks apparently the majority of men that she deals with are trash. So what does she then do? She extrapolates it to men in general, and she says that all men are trash. Okay, and this girl right here, I'm going to assume she's like 20, 24 or whatever the hell they said earlier, 24, 25. Okay, this woman could go out there and get a large percentage of men. If she wanted to have a relationship, if she wanted to have a family, if she wanted to get married... She probably could. She really could, guys. But instead, she's sitting here, and I believe this is a Gucci belt. She's sitting here in a Gucci belt talking about how the pool of men as a whole are collectively trash. Absolutely not. So I think the pool is a large pool of trash men. That okay. So, so well, maybe um, speak for yourself. Maybe the men you do. I know a lot of great men. No, I know a lot of great men too, but, so, but I still think the majority I, aren't. I, I, would say, I would say that's not true. I don't think the majority of it men actually are actually matters. I would, it actually matters who raised those men, mm -hmm. but you don't know who raised them, mm -hmm. so they're trash. So statistically, right, 80% um, of women I don't know what on earth that man just said. Choose 20% of men when they're asked about their ideal partner, mm -hmm. right? So 80% of women, there's a pool of 20% of men, roughly, right, who women want, okay? So 80% of women are dealing with 20% of men. And that's the reason why women think that men are trash, because those 20% of men have 80% of women to choose from. Mm -hmm. So they're going to exercise, a lot of them are going to exercise those options with those 80% of women. Or they're just not going to commit to women at all because they don't have a reason to, especially when you start to involve things like divorce courts, family courts, and things where men have to risk their livelihood in order to get into a relationship with a woman thanks to common law marriage. A lot of these guys are either just straight up checking out or just not interested in committing to Western women. There are a lot of dudes right now, guys, who, quite frankly, are just leaving the West. They're not interested in defending the West. They're not interested in finding wives here. They're not interested in finding girlfriends here. And it's really hard to argue with these men and say, hey, wait a minute, maybe you should stay. Or maybe you should have a marriage with the Western woman when their opinions of men are just like this. Right when they a lot of them just live in straight up delusion, guys, thanks to especially things like Tinder, Instagram, you know, these dating apps, these social media applications, just absolutely frying their brain. But let's continue. So, a lot of the time, when you were saying, Oh, the men that I dealt with are trash, you're dealing with trash men, yeah, you're, of course, right? Okay, so when you say the majority of men Before, are trash, you said the majority of men are trash, but it's not just but, my experience, no, but the majority of men are good mm -hmm. men, the majority of men are good men, but like, you don't, you don't want yeah, those like men. one, one in three. She doesn't even understand. This is why a lot of the times these conversations are straight up pointless, okay? The woman sitting on the couch didn't even understand the statistic right there. When the man was saying, hey, 80% of women are trying to date the top 20% of men, she sits there and her rebuttal is, oh, but it's not just my experience, you know, saying that the majority of men are trash. That's the point of the statistic. It's the other also, you know, 79.999% of women who are sitting there saying the exact same thing because they're trying to get men who won't commit to them. She doesn't even understand the statistic, guys. One in three men are either virgins or haven't had sex in the past year. If girls wanted a guy that could be faithful, they could find one, but we don't want them. So if we're, if we're getting cheated on, it's literally our own fault because we pick the guys that can get a bunch of girls. Check your comments. Wait, are you on about like 
men in the UK won. But men in the are, Western world. Virgin. Western Western world is one in three. That like, are, they're yeah. what, sorry, they're, they're either virgins or have it under 30. One in three men under 30 are either virgins or have had sex in the past year. So what I'm saying is like a lot of times girls will say things like men are trash, men cheat, da 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 da. But literally like only five to 15, maybe 20% of men can cheat. So if we're picking the guys that cheat, how can we complain when we get cheated on? You picked them. Because why would we pick men just because they don't cheat? We want men who don't cheat, who have a good job, if, who if, have everything no, else to right, do. Right, but I'm yeah, saying you don't. If, you, if, you wanted, do. if you wanted them, you would pick them. There are, but guys, right. there are guys, but there are guys that have good jobs that don't cheat. You could get an engineer. You get a computer software engineer. Okay. They're not. They're the, not known the, for being there dogs. Were, there were fifty guys that you walked past today, didn't even notice. You know those regular guys, the guys that work at Starbucks, the guys that are taking the bins out, the guys there's, that are. There's a guy in my front security desk. He's single. Right. You <laughs> you literally walked past fifty guys today that you did not even care about because they didn't match that top twenty percent of men that mm -hmm. you're looking for. So why should we have to sacrifice the rest of what we want just because he he doesn't he doesn't cheat? Why does why does the top twenty percent? I love this argument, guys. So this woman is saying, "Hey, why can't I just have my top percentage man regardless? Like, why can't I just have the guy at the top, and why can I not have him go and see other women?" Okay, and this is something that a lot of girls don't seem to understand, guys, is if you're trying to get the top percentage man, you are competing for him. Other women also want him. For you to come in and say, oh, well, I deserve a top percentage guy and he shouldn't cheat on me and I should be able to have my fantastic relationship and my white picket fence and my family with the guy at the top. Cool, you might want that, but so do the rest of the women. So what makes you special? And this is where a lot of girls get confused, okay? Your career does not make you special. Your confidence, which a lot of the times is just honestly arrogance and entitlement. These things don't make you special to men. Girls seem to think that the things that they find attractive in men, be it confidence, career, status, whatever, that these things are also attractive to men. Men don't necessarily care about these things. If you're shooting for the guy in the top 20%, this woman right here has a lower chance than some girl in an Eastern country who knows how to just like be pleasant to be around and who is not argumentative. Like they really don't understand that. Men are not interested in your money. They're not interested in your terrible entitled attitude. A lot of guys will just straight up leave. And for you to sit here and say, oh, well, I want my top 20% guy and I don't want him to go and get with other women. Cool, but so do the rest of the women that you are competing with if you want a top percentage guy. She could go out, right? The other people on this panel, I, I know uh, Pearlie, the woman who was sitting in the chair, and the other man whose name I'm unfamiliar with, right? But they were both making the point that this girl right here could have a relationship with a guy. Like, she's walked past, the guy said, you know, 50 plus dudes that day. Uh, Pearlie's receptionist is a nice guy, okay? But she doesn't want these men. She wants the dudes at the top, and she'll complain when she can't get them. Let's keep going. I'm going to rewind it five seconds, and then we'll continue the rest of what we want just because he he doesn't he doesn't cheat why does why does the top 20 percent well, have to cheat that doesn't make sense just because i have everything else you don't have to cheat like you're asking well, men. because i think you're living in a fairy tale because mm. you're you, you lived in a disney princess world that's told you you can have everything you don't get to have everything i don't think you but i'm saying i'm saying men and women both have to compromise on things that they want they probably want want girls that haven't slept with a million people but that's not really common in the western world Oh, so, oh, damn. Go ahead. Yeah, but you also have to look, what's the age category of the men that you're approaching? Because if they're 30 over, they should be much more mature than being trash. I don't think age makes a difference. It in does. In men, 100%, million percent. Men underdeveloped if they do not get taken care of. 100%, every single male is underdeveloped if they do not get proper fathering. And then they grow up in a man's body that can kill people. And then they go out and become Neanderthals. And their minds are children. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So are you saying that um, in order for a man to be a proper man, a good man, uh, he needs to be raised by a mother and a father? 100%. Yeah, definitely. I believe in that. The ideal situation, I believe, is for a man to be raised by both parents. But, I, but, but more importantly, I think one of the most important things for a boy is to have a male father figure in their life. And, and you know what, guys? The male father figure in the year 2022 is something that's just straight up being removed from families altogether. Okay, this is what happens when you go through the divorce courts. Men are being kicked out of society. Here's the thing, okay? Many men are being kicked out of society. They are being removed from their families, from their children. 
right? Because a woman might file for, I don't know, irreconcilable differences. Modern day media is absolutely trashing on men. There is a literally an attack on masculinity, guys. And for people to sit here, and I find it really interesting during this discussion, okay, that Pearlie brings up the, um, the virginity statistics of men, right, earlier in this video, as if the girl sitting on the couch even cares. She doesn't care if dudes are alone, guys. Right, the majority of women, they do not care about men's struggles. You can sit there and say, hey, most men are deprived of intimacy, or most men really struggle with X, Y, Z. These girls don't care at all, guys. Right, there's a phrase that's been tossed around the internet for a long uh, period of time, which is that women don't really care about men's struggles, okay? They just wait at the, fish, uh, the finish line. They wait for the dudes who have performed well throughout their life, the guys who have hit the gym, the guys who have made money, and then they just choose from the rest of them. They really don't give a crap about men's struggles. They don't care that men are growing up in fatherless households. They don't care that a lot of men are, you know, completely and utterly lonely, or that a lot of men are directionless these days. They couldn't care less about these things. Let's keep going. And we, we, if we're talking about this, we're talking about the subject today. If you look at the media, and you look at TV shows, and you look at what is portrayed as a father figure, right, in TV <coughs> shows and stuff like that. You look at The Simpsons, you can look at Family, family Guy. Yeah, Family Guy. Right? These are bumbling idiots. They're bumbling guys, and it's Oof. normally the, the women in the, mm -hmm. the relationship, which is the smart ones. And they're like, oh, we know, those guys are stupid. And it's like, oh, I'm just going to be a bumbling idiot and mm -hmm. just grab a beer and go and do... That is, a, that is what women and men and young boys are being shown what a father is. And I think the masculinity when it comes to fatherhood has been removed from society, which is why True. we have such a problem with the young males. It also helps to know all the vice that is available at your disposal, the negative vice. If you know all of it, you can prevent your child succumb to that vice. That's important before it becomes the degenerate. Mm -hmm. It's easy to become in contemporary society. Mm -hmm. 100 years ago, we didn't have much to do. It was easy to be raised by a village if your father died. Your father dies now, you're selling crack. Mm. You're selling True. crack right now, mm -hmm. not goats. So, so um, I want to go back to something you said when you said um, you think the majority of men, did you say bad? Or, or you said the majority of men are something. No, I said the majority of men that I had experienced. Were trash. But you did say the majority of men are trash. Okay, so so question. Yeah, do you, do you no. also feel like the majority of women are trash? Yes. Okay, so you feel like it's equal, you just think about it. Are, are you included in that category? Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Definitely 100% not. Isn't I love that rationale there, guys. Basically, everybody is trash, okay? Men are trash, the majority of men are trash, the majority of women are trash, but me, I'm completely different. I'm someone who's special. I'm unique. This is what these girls have been brought up to believe, guys. I swear to you, these girls never get told no. They get, gro you know, they grow up, they get told yes, 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 okay? And throughout their entire life, guys, the moment somebody tells them no, apparently it's unfair or it's unjust, okay? Even though this woman goes out, she makes her own dating decisions, she selects the men that she chooses, you know, that she wants to have relationships with, she will reap the consequences of her actions and then she'll complain about those exact same things. And one thing that I wanted to touch on, guys, before we wrap up today's episode, okay, is the idea of how men are portrayed in modern day media, okay? I thought that it was just me getting old, guys, and maybe I didn't like these contemporary movies anymore, guys. But anytime I sit down and try and watch something that's like on Netflix or a movie that someone recommends, it's just garbage these days, guys. Like the male protagonist is some bumbling idiot who can't get out a single sentence. He comes across a woman who will just take the lead and tell him what to do, and their relationship will be completely dysfunctional. It's the most disgusting garbage you will ever see. But guys, we're going to be leaving today's episode there as always remember to leave your thoughts and your comments to some of the things that we have covered here today um don't forget to subscribe to our other content creators hadan from peace of mind and detective walk they've been pumping out consistent content for you guys to enjoy and also guys don't forget to come and join us over on locals um locals is free to join but if you're interested in supporting the channel there is also an option for that but otherwise gentlemen we're going to be leaving it there Make sure that you take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.